are y'all tonight? Tim Isaacs, Principal Central Harden High School. Uh, we've got our first of two open houses. We actually, if, traditionally our freshmen would have it tonight, but we flip-flopped them, so tonight's the upperclassmen. Uh, next Monday night, August 9th, will be our freshmen because we're going to try a new program with them where the freshmen hopefully will be coming in earlier than their parents and go through their schedules just with the kids. We'll call it freshman first day, uh, and then their parents come in a little later and do the open house thing. And uh, just scheduling-wise, this was how it worked this year. Uh, looks like everybody's just kind of rolling with it. Um, we're hoping things are a little bit closer to normal this year, but we just, the big thing uh, with Central Harden is uh, we're getting ready to uh, undergo major renovation uh, and some addition work. And so uh, with all the fun of trying to figure out what's going on as far as COVID protocols and what we need to do with that this year, we're also gonna be uh, uh, dancing around some uh, heavy equipment as they go, uh, hopefully start to make this place look pretty amazing over the next three years. They're going to be there'll be a new addition, a new small gym, uh, wrap around a new wing that's going to come up around the front, and that's the reason for all the fencing out front. And then eventually, the, where we're standing right now in what is now our cafeteria, uh, sometime uh, about the time maybe these incoming freshmen graduate, well, this may be parking lot. And we worked with TVP today and uh, John Wright to film some videos that are going to be going out on our Facebook page that kind of give some greater details about parent drop off, buses and student parking and the impact it's going to have and honestly it's going to impact everything we do for a little while but again I'm, i think if people will be patient they're going to see that it's going to be more than worth it i think the biggest thing we can preach is the thing that really we ought to be living more anyway is to be patient be open-minded and uh, just try to be a help a helpful person instead of a hindrance i think if we work hard to just be considered one another we can get through this now, I would encourage probably, especially if you chose not to get a vaccination or you haven't had the opportunity because of AIDS to get vaccinated, I'd probably seriously consider a mask. Um, but that's, a, that's up for each individual family to decide at this point. My name is Chris Adams. I'm the counsel for all the seniors, so anything regarding getting them through to graduation, that is what I'm responsible for. Any class changes, making sure they have all their credits and everything leading up to graduation runs through my office on that. Tonight is our open house for our upperclassmen, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. Students are able to come in, pick up their schedules, and if they have questions, we have some forms they can get on there. If they want to have some questions about that, that they can email the counselors, then they can also go and meet all of their teachers that are here and pick up a syllabus for this year's first trimester classes. We are hoping to get back to more to normal this year. Uh, of course, normal is a relative term, so it's a little closer to normal in the fact that we are hoping to get back to power hour. We are hoping to not have to have masks. That's going to be, a, again, that'll be a district decision on that, but it's getting more back to normal, especially more normal than we were last year or the end of two years ago. It's just going to be getting used to what's going on with the construction and things like that and making as close to a normal year as we can for the students. Power Hour, for those that haven't been here, and actually for our sophomores who didn't get to have that, Power Hour is where all of our students from noon to one pretty much have a free reign to do what they want to do as far as when they eat lunch and if they need to go see any teachers, if there's any makeup work they're doing, if there's any clubs, clubs are during power hour, and they just pick a spot to eat. They can either do the first half or second half of that, and then they go to a classroom and meet with either clubs, sit with their friends, or meet with some of their teachers, or they can catch up with any missing work or there may be some enrichment classes for some of the yes. classes as well. It's been an unusual year and a half. We want to make things as close to normal as we can. We want you to bear with us. It's still going to be a few changes, but we will all get through this together. But just be patient, and we want you to have a great year this year. So I am one of two librarians here at Central Harden. This is my first year as a librarian, my 14th year here at Central Harden. Um, in the library, we offer many services to our students. We offer IDs, basic technology needs, um, book checkout and collaboration with teachers. We wear many hats in here, just being available to the students and the staff alike. So the library has been genrefied. We are trying to make it easier for our students to locate books and materials that they may like. Um, we've done some weeding throughout the summer to update our collection and we're bringing in new books for our collection as well. We are also looking forward to getting technology into the hands of our students in our one-to-one -one initiative. That is going to be each student in Hardin County um, schools as well as Central Hardin here is going to have their own Chromebook to use.
Well, students were able to check out books last year. Um, with COVID, we had to take just different precautions. Um, students would wear gloves last year to check out the books. We would do social distancing, just kind of the same protocols that you would see in a lot of other places. We're hoping this year to narrow that down a little bit and get more students into the library checking out books. We do have an online circulation available to us where students could check out ebooks or audio books. So they don't have to necessarily have a physical book in hand, but we're still available in any format. That is actually accessed through Destiny and that's available on our school website, our library website, um, which is linked to the Central Harden site that they can access from home, on phones, anywhere. And we also this year have started a Central Harden Library Facebook page where we're going to provide information and updates available to students, staff, and parents. My name is Tina Cox. I'm here at Central Harden High School, teach environmental science and AP environmental science. Well, AP Science, uh, Environmental Science, is geared toward uh, the students learning what they need to, uh, the standards to take a, a test in the spring. Uh, but we're also learning about the environment. Environmental Science is uh, geared toward teaching our students about humans' place in the natural world, how we affect the natural world, how it affects us. And it all, we, in our class, our Environmental Science classes, we focus on real world skills that the students are going to need, not just for college, but for jobs and just regular life um, in general. We live in an information rich world and students we have found have a hard time uh, trying to sift through all that information to look for the information that's not biased, that's the good versus the bad information, so that's some of the things that we focus on in here too. Last year we had the alternating days, of course now we're all going to be together, which I'm excited about. Um, masks are, from what I heard, uh, are um, optional, and um, which is nice. And um, now on the bus, it's still the same, you know, they have to wear masks on the bus. But uh, we're looking forward to getting the students all together uh, to create that community within our classrooms, that family within our classrooms with all of our kids at the same time. Open house is, is always a exciting night I guess you could say we have kids you know I think they are ready to come back obviously um, I coach basketball and this summer has been we've seen a lot of kids around campus you know doing the different sports and bands back out in the, in the parking lot so things are starting to to look more normal so and I do feel like the kids are excited about coming back um, hopefully you know we're going to like we said get a little more back to normal um, I know that I know that the teachers here are excited about getting the kids back into the building, you know, full time, kind of like we were at the end of last school year. And, you know, it just helps us out tremendously to build relationships with kids when we can see them every day and um, try, to, try to be a positive influence in their lives on a daily basis. Obviously, football starting in a couple weeks. We'd like to get our students out in student sections, you know, filling those up and, and making that look more normal for our guys that are that are playing fall sports. Um, you know, and <clears throat> the sports the sports teams that we have here, we we thrive off of our our crowds, you know, and and, and being able to get more people into the stands is is something that will be positive for the kids.